Hey, how are you? Hey, good. How are you doing? All right, good doing to all see right. you. Yes, so sir. What's going on? So, Mr. Yertle the Turtle. Yertle the Turtle? My husband, he found this yellow-bellied slider turtle in a drain pipe. He was, like, covered in sewage, and he couldn't even move. Oh, you got quite a bit of sludge in there. So we want him to survive, so I knew I needed to bring him to see Dr. Hodges. <laughs> yeah, we tried to get as much out as we could, but there's still so much. Lots of grease as well. A nice crack here. He's not moving much. OK, I'm going to try to clean him up more. Thank you. And we'll, I'm going to shoot a picture here, see what kind of involvement we have when we get him clean. So give me a few minutes. Yes, sir. But this turtle's just not in real great shape. And it's just full of grime and stinks really, really bad. It also has a small crack. So I know we had to do something to kind of clean this turtle up. He got some sludge there. I don't want to flush it back in there, so I'm going to clean that up. Nasty. Man, sludge. We started cleaning it out, and I'm flushing, and I'm thinking, whoa, this is a lot worse than I thought. A turtle shell is its only defense against predators, so when it's cracked, you really worry about this turtle being compromised. We're gonna x-ray this turtle and see exactly what's going on, because it is possibly life-threatening. The x-ray will help Dr. Hodges determine if the cracked shell, or carapace, has allowed any of the sludge into the turtle's body cavity. You literally dodged the bullet. You did crack, but not terribly bad. Airway looks good. I'm gonna get you cleaned up. Lucky turtle, yertle. Fortunately, the crack in the shell is only superficial. We're gonna use some dish detergent. We're gonna clean all this area up because it cuts grease. So we wanna cut some grease. Scrub a dub dub. Maybe we can get us a dishwashing endorsement. I can see us now. And then you know how you clean it? And then as, as we clean it, then my teeth go, ting. <laughs> Once we got this turtle feeling better and doing everything, our plan is to put an epoxy on this, this cracked shell to kind of seal it. Ah, uh, was that tickle? Was that tickle? Oh, look at that hair, that tickle. OK, perfect. The owner just needs to provide a lot of TLC. Make sure she keeps that area that has all the sludge and that stuff clean. I think this turtle has a pretty good shot. It's clean without everything. Oz there. I've flushed this area out and I've packed it. The brown stuff you see now is a warm paste. Thank you so much, Dr. Hodges. You're the best. All right, we'll see you later. Oh, yertle. He looks like a completely different turtle. I was actually shocked and like got tears in my eyes because he was like moving around and he looked so much happier and like he was a little feisty and I'm excited to bring him home and see him swim and do turtle things. <laughs>